All right, so we're going to use the plasma cutter to cut this uh, stainless plate, which is about two millimeters thick. Maybe that's like uh, one sixteenth of an inch or so. And it's going to be six inches this way, twenty inches this way, and all these here are going to be holes for screws to mount. And it's basically going to hold uh, two big <coughs> slabs of uh, maple. That's going to be part of a bathroom countertop so it's two long sections and uh, the plates gonna be in the middle of that underneath uh, holding both pieces together so let's start cutting so we'll start off with 42 amps and see how well that works So that's one of our little holes. It's not very big, so we'll have to make those holes a bit, uh, a bit bigger. We'll boost it up to 51 amps. It's a bit bigger of a hole there. Should have a wood screw go through there. We can probably use a drill bit to make those bigger, but this stainless here is extremely hard. Uh, the last time I tried to drill it or use any other kind of tools on it, it didn't work very well at all. And as you can see here, I used a plasma cutter to uh, cut that out because there was no way that my jigsaw was going to do anything to it. So we'll just start doing the holes here one at a time. So one of the things I've learned with plasma cutting, especially uh, coated roof surfaces where you really have to uh, use a ventilator, because when you're frying a, a metal surface that's got paint on there, that paint is doing all kinds of weird stuff. Anyway, if you look at the tip here, what happens is you get some junk that just gets coated on that tip. So the best thing is just to use a wire brush, take it both directions because usually there's an X in the bottom there and then take a little uh, drill bit and just just spin that in there for a second and if there's any junk that's in the tip from the marker paint or whatever you're using on here uh, that'll fix that up so you can use it again you're good to go and it, the torch will start nice for you instead of having a real hard time getting the plasma uh, flame to light Okay, here's the last uh, screw hole. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the long lines across here and here. Uh, we'll start at one end and uh, go across. problem is I can't see nothing with the helmet, so I'm going to have to go get some sunglasses to see what the heck I'm doing. Okay, got our sunglasses. Well, let's try it out now. Not a bad uh, straight line cut there. You can probably turn down the heat a little bit. It's a bit heat discolored on the edge, but that's probably normal. Uh, and we'll do the long one after that. Okay, here goes the long one.
really feel the heat coming off of that. It's crazy.